So our principal, Mr. Barrett, he came up to us one day and he was like, hey, would you guys like to help me build a food computer? And so we were thinking, we were like, well, what's a food computer? So uh, we ended up doing a little bit of research and we found out that a food computer is actually a computer, that's in the name, and uh, what it does is it grows plants from all different kinds of habitats. So you can simulate the perfect environment to grow the perfect plant. And so we all got really excited about it and we figured that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> it's basically like a personal greenhouse, I guess you could call it, because you can grow anything you want, anytime you want. You can control everything. You can control the chemicals that are in the water. You can control the air pressure. You can control everything. This, uh, this was primarily an initiative out of MIT, and uh, we thought uh, it would be a good opportunity to bring a technology that is so agricultural-based to West Texas and uh, build it out and see if we can scale it to uh, much larger capacities and uh, actually begin growing food. Plains Land Bank wanted to get on board with that because, you know, as, as you look at agriculture, the world population is increasing. The uh, amount of arable land is decreasing. Water is becoming a more scarce resource. And any new idea that, 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 that comes up needs to be investigated. And we thought this was one of those ideas. Since we have the funding, we are going to start ordering the parts. We already have everything budgeted out in a list. And then we're going to start production here within the next few weeks after we get the parts in. So it's pretty good size, actually. It's about maybe that tall about maybe that wide. It's about, it can grow probably a full-size tomato plant, if not a little bit smaller. Our plan is to grow some lettuce, some tomatoes, um, onions, maybe some carrots, and make a really good salad. <laughs> I foresee uh, where uh, ACAL can be instrumental in building the first units, and then we can move forward with other school systems within the region and uh, they can build their own food computers and put them in science labs and, and uh, study uh, uh, botany and plant science and, and uh, uh, climatology with them. We plan on finishing version one by the end of the semester and then after we complete version one we're gonna start modifying a few things, see things that'll work, see things that don't work and get a improved final model.